Hey all, here's a quick tutorial on how to generate an image with ChatGPT create, uh, create Image API and Node-RED. So this is in continuation to my previous video, which is uh, which was how to use ChatGPT with Node-RED. Uh, so you can refer back to that video for some setup instructions. Um, but to quickly go over the setup, uh, number one is you need to have Node-RED installed. I have Node-RED installed under a Docker container, and this is my Node-RED running on my local host. And you need a ChatGPT API access token, which you can get from your ChatGPT API, uh, chat, uh, OpenAI account. Go to your profile and then manage accounts, and then here you'll see the API key. All right, uh, after that, I won't create the whole flow by scratch because I already have uh, things in place. And it, this flow kind of looks similar to uh, the flow that we were working with uh, uh, in the previous video. So I have an inject node, that's a question. So um, my question is generate a or a cute, cute baby sea otter, uh, which is the image that I want ChatGPT to generate. Now I'm formatting the payload and uh, this is the payload that the create API expects and I've also linked to the uh, the documentation to the API documentation in the description below so this is the API that we are using which is image images and uh, generations and this is the payload that we are using in our uh, format payload uh, function block so here uh, in the prompt, I'm passing my message of question, which is a cute baby sea otter. And N is how many images you want it to generate. So if you do two, three, it'll, can, it'll give you, uh, uh, it'll return two, uh, two images. If you do five, it'll return five images. But I, I just want to return one image, the size of the image and response format. So I want the image in uh, base 64 format. And so that's my payload. Now here's where I'm using an HTTP request node. So I'm using the same API images generation, passing my payload here. I have a content type and authorization, uh, which is my which is my token. Now another quick thing that I'm doing is I'm using a plugin uh, called Image Output. So you can get it from uh, from Node Red. Uh, palette manager it's called node red contrib image output uh, this lets you view images on the editor itself so here is that image preview uh, before previewing the image i'm setting the payload so that it can be read by the image preview because chat gpt will return the payload under payload data and the, in, uh, the index of uh, the image so i'm setting my message or payload uh to the base 64 response that i get from chat gpt now to quickly run this if i hit inject it'll request an, uh, request the image from api uh, from chat gpt api and it'll return the image right here and in my message dot response which is this one result response i can also see data which is the base 64 json uh, uh, JSON that I that chat GPT returned, and this is the payload that I'm setting in my set payload to GPT return um, uh, change node for for this uh, image output node. So here you can see a sea otter. Now let's uh, generate a new image. Let's do a unicorn and a puppy. I hit deploy. Now let's see what chat GPT returns. So again, it's uh, requesting that image from the API. And this is what it uh, returned, a unicorn and a puppy, which is kind of like a unicorn. Uh, and also this flow is available for uh, download. Uh, please check the description below. 
Now in the next tutorial, uh, I'll be using Pression Designer and running this whole flow on an edge device, uh, probably in a Jetson Nano. And I'll be using a mic to uh, pass response to Node-RED uh, and then converting into text and then generating an image on the cloud. So more on that uh, next month. I hope this helps. Uh, thanks.